everyone, and welcome. Welcome to the Stock Swoosh Show Live. This is www. Four W's, yeah. Web.com group gapped down today, and the size of the bar is a beautiful, huge, massive red bar. And red is actually a wonderful color, isn't it? <laughs> Anyways, the funny thing is that this went not only to the dream target, but I have to come up with a name. If something goes past the dream target, I'm really going to have to come up with a word for that one too, uh, because <laughs> I really said 28 was a dream target on this today. It actually went down to 26 something. Did not completely, I don't think, went down to totally 26, but almost within 32 cents. However, I want to point something out that's extremely important. Now, this is not over yet, meaning the day. Two more hours left in the day. And the stock looks like it's setting up again here in the 15 minute for a short. But you know what? What did this time did this get in here? 10.15. 10.15. The stock fell like a brick and made 95% of the move here, unless this breaks the low. 100% of the move, it made into 10.15 unless this breaks the low. So if this breaks the low, I guess what I'm saying is 26 is a target, because there's only two more hours left in the day. So if this comes in, sets up, continues, goes down, 26 is the next target. But really, the stock made the entire move of the day in the first 45 minutes. And that's what I love about gaps. What I love, 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 love about gaps is that you can trade them in the morning, and even if they go lower later in the day, like this thing could go down to 26 here this afternoon before 4. Either that or it's just going to flatline here. But, you know, you would have waited all day then to get eke another 30 cents out of it. So, you know, again, stocks make their moves. Most of the move, the majority of the move, the largest percentage of the move in a gap trade in the morning. And it's a very good reason to trade gaps. So this thing just kaboomed. Kaboomed! Let's look at it. Nice chart. Here's the area. And here's basically 26. And let me bring this up here in one minute. The opening of the stock of the day had a big move, which was nice, had the confirmation of the weakness. The only thing that was interesting about this was, though, that the bar is big, but the volume in here is not as much as you think it is. I mean, it, it really it looks like it's more than it actually is, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And the other thing, too, is that the stock had a spread in the morning. Now, it looks like it's okay here. I've been sitting watching this, though, all afternoon, so I'm not sure if this is wavering. But at one point in the morning, the spread was like 30-some cents, which is, you know, for a stock at this price point, the strike price point, it's very, very spready. And then it was maneuvering around. Like, it, then it looked like it was a penny, then it looked like it was two pennies, then it looked like it was 10 pennies. But, I mean, it, it was going back and forth between 20 and 30 cents as well, which was interesting. So stock set up, dropped, rallied back, set up, dropped, rallied back, set up, and had another set up in here and fell. Really nice. Continued to fall after the 10 o'clock period. And even the morning move, even the initial morning move had a, a huge, huge, massive move in here with good target. Stop was big in this, but it still had the risk to reward. It's pretty nice. Every once in a while, you get a stock that goes to the dream target. Earnings season starts the first week of July, and there's going to be a lot of stocks going to dream targets this earnings season. I just have a feeling. I just have a feeling because, because in June, there wasn't a lot that went to dream targets. It just wasn't. So I have a feeling July is going to provide proof positive of some good, nice moves to the downside and bearish gaps and golden gaps and gaps that rate 20 points or more on my golden gap point rating system. I have a feeling that it's going to get some nice sell up and some things that people are going to dump that they weren't willing to dump this month for whatever reason to make some of these things go to the bigger targets and the bigger numbers. But WWW is a sign. It's a sign that July is going to be a great month to trade my strategy in golden gaps. Stock just went and tanked, tanked. And again, here, this is setting up. You can short this here into the afternoon. You have to put the stop over 27.79 with the cushion. Spread is better now here. Time of the day for this to set up the 2 o'clock, 2.15 is good. This is a short. This is a short if you want to do it right in here. Targets 26, the low of the day.
I'm not going to take a new trade at 201 in the afternoon, but the, you know, you certainly could. Certainly, certainly could. This is Melissa with thestockswish.com. If you'd like more information on the next Golden Gap class, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Doing a class July 12th and 13th. If you want to sign up for that class, you can pre-register ahead of time. A few people already have. June 30th is a deadline to do the class at the current price for the July class. And uh, this is just a sign. A sign here for the great month we're going to have in July, trading gaps. Things going to numbers that I don't even have written down. <laughs> I love it. I love it when I have to go look at the chart and find another number, past the dream target number, when I have to go and look for something that I can't find or didn't have written down. <laughs> Anyways, have a great day, everybody. Short this if you want a short in the afternoon. It's good. Email me at melissa at the stockswish.com if you'd like more information. Thanks. Have a great day.